This video describes the process of logging on to an air traffic service center using ATN, or PMCPDLC, on a Pilatus aircraft. Datalink information can be accessed in the Datalink window on the forward displays. For aircraft equipped with a touchscreen controller, Datalink pages can also be accessed directly on the TSC. Before beginning CPDLC operations, pilots must log on to an air traffic service center. This can be compared to tuning to an ATC frequency and checking in with the controller when using voice communications. Instead of a radio frequency, air traffic service centers that use CPDLC are assigned a four-letter logon identifier. The logon ID can be found on an en route chart. The chart also tells pilots what data link services are offered by the ATSC. Many ATN centers require operators to register their aircraft on a logon list. For more information on the logon list, including how to add your aircraft to the logon list, refer to the Eurocontrol One SkyTeam website. When the aircraft is outside CPDLC airspace, pilots should initiate the logon 10 to 25 minutes prior to entering the airspace. If taking off close to or into CPDLC airspace, initiate the logon on the ground prior to departure. To log on to an ATC center, access the Datalink window. Select PMCPDLC from the Datalink network menu. On the ATC menu, prompts with a caret are accessible. In this case, since we are not yet logged on to a center, the request and report pages are not accessible. Select Notify to access the ATC Notify Status page. This page is used to log on to an ATC center. It also displays any current connections as well as the next center. Before attempting to log on, verify that the flight ID, origin, and destination match your filed flight plan exactly. If any fields don't match the filed flight plan, the logon will not be successful. In this case, contact ATC or AOC to resolve the difference. Select the ATC Center field. For ATN connections, an ATC Center identifier must be selected from the ATC Center menu. Select the center appropriate for your route of flight. After the ATC Center is selected, an asterisk appears next to the Notify prompt, indicating that it is available. Select Notify to begin the logon process. When the prompt changes from Notifying to Notified, the connection request is sent. However, it is important to note that a connection with an ATC Center has not been established yet. Depending on the ATC Center and aircraft location, the logon request may remain in this state until just prior to entering CPDLC airspace. Once the connection becomes active, the ATC Center identifier will be shown in the current ATC Center field. This indicates that an active CPDLC connection exists. You may also get an uplink message confirming the CPDLC connection. You are now logged on to an ATC Center and can send or receive CPDLC messages. If the next center in the flight plan route is CPDLC capable, the center identifier will be shown in the Next Center field. Under normal circumstances, when entering a new center airspace, the controlling center will automatically transfer the aircraft to the next center, and the flight crew should not need to initiate another logon. When entering a new airspace, check the local requirements regarding HF or VHF voice check-in procedures, position reports, and the use of ADS-C. This video described the process of logging on to an air traffic service center using ATN or PMCPDLC. In the next video, we'll demonstrate how to send and receive CPDLC messages.